Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I am doing my December current household, actually my second current household for the month of December. And I'm really excited, oops, oops, sorry, sorry, my bad, Mobby, Mobby. Uh, yeah, and I'm really, really excited to be here. So let's just go ahead and jump into this. This is the same family I did in my November current household and also October. So this is month three of the same family. You know, I'm not gonna lie, they have not changed as much um, from October, o October, what? October to November, they changed drastically. Um, they have not changed quite as much since then, but they have changed. So let me go ahead and show you. I'm gonna start with the house first, just because, honestly, why not? And you're gonna see the family on the side, so just ignore that, I will get to them in a moment. But the house has not really changed a whole lot since last month. We do have about 23,000 smoleons, so I do need to go to go through and um, do the outside. As you can see, I haven't done anything outside. Nothing is new. There's one car. Um, we have our little garden area, which our gardener no longer lives in the house. I'll get to that in a minute. So someone's going to have to like take that over for him. Um, but yeah, that is that. You walk in on the main level here and you walk into an open concept living room, dining room, kitchen. Uh, live, oh, oh my god, I cannot speak. What the heck? The living room is very small because it doesn't really get used that often. Um, despite what you're seeing, three people in there, it doesn't get used that often. And then our little cat section because we do have two cats. We have a dining room with an art easel. And then our kitchen, we have two cooks in the family and a little radio, a fish tank with no fish in it. We love to see it. This right here, despite being very small, is the master bedroom with its own attached master bath. And then we have this little area right here. There's some doors that separate it. And it leads down to almost like a studio apartment or I guess these are called like in-law suites. Um, my initial plan was actually to have like a whole separate door from the outside, but I ended up not doing that. Um, just so it's not completely disconnecting whoever lives in this area from the rest of the family. They still, you know, have to go through the front door and everything. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much all the same. They have their own kitchen, own dining room table, own bedroom, own bathroom, and then they don't have necessarily a whole separate living room area. But there is a TV in their bedroom section for them to like watch TV and play video games and such. All right, going back to the main level of the house, we also have um, a guest bathroom, I guess is what these are called. It's not attached to anybody's room. It's not specific, you know, like this one is specifically for whoever's bedroom this is. This is just kind of the guest bedroom. And then we have the L-shaped stairs. I am obsessed with them. They're my favorite stairs ever. We come upstairs. And it's the, like, I guess bonus living room. It's got, like, all the extra stuff, a bookshelf, um, the, what are these called? The chin-up bar, a chess table, you know, all that stuff. And then our two daughters' rooms are right here. We have three sons and two daughters. Um, so this is our younger daughter's room, obviously, and then our older daughter's room. Um, like I said, not a whole lot has changed, so if you want a more in-depth you can watch November's current household. And then they also have a bathroom to share. This is our youngest son's room. I have not upgraded it since he aged from a child to a teenager. And honestly, I probably won't. And we'll get to that in a minute. And then this bathroom is unfurnished. Again, I have the money to furnish it. I have just been kind of lazy when it comes to that. So, oh, excuse me. Furnishing this bathroom and then doing the yard is my next priority. And then this room is super plain. It's literally just two beds. Our two oldest boys used to share this room. They no longer do. And the one boy that is in this room is actually moving out, I think in like literally two days. So I don't see a point in furnishing it just for him to leave in two days. So this room is going to basically be empty here in like two sim days. But let's get into this family. If you guys remember, uh, we had we have a married couple, Harper and Bradley. And their best friend, Collins, used to live with them. I ended up moving him out. I just felt, you know, he aged up into an elder. 
he never really had a life of his own, you know, he never had a, a steady significant other. He had children, but he was never involved in their lives because he wasn't with their mother um, and things like that. And Harper and Bradley were really just trucking along with their lives and he just felt it was time for him to finally, for the first time ever, be out on his own as an elder. So he ended up moving out. Um, this is Miss Harper. She is adorable. She's just browsing the web right now. She's a little elder, which I am so sad about. Oh my god, look up maybe. There we go. Then we'll get you from this angle. Ah, oh, she's queen. Look at that. Her daughter's like, if only I can be as hot as my mom when I'm old. That's right, boo. Anyways, Harper's lifetime wish is to be a gold digger, which is seeing this ghost of her wealthy spouse. Um, so I definitely plan to make that happen. I don't exactly know what they consider wealthy, like 20,000 smolians, 50,000 smolians. Like, I'm assuming that's what they mean. So I definitely plan to do that. She is a Pisces. She is 96 days old, so she is about a quarter of the way through her elder status. She likes Roots music, veggie burgers, and the color lilac. She's over-emotional, vegetarian, a party animal, commitment issues, and a snob. She is unemployed. If you guys remember, she was very back and forth in the work career throughout her whole life. She truly never had a stable job. Um, she went to peace and love school. Uh, she was in the science career, got up to level three, and then quit that. She went into the business career, got up to level two, and then quit that. She was in the acting career, and then that's when she, like, got married and then had all her pregnancies. So she was in that career for a very long time, however, never got promoted because she was basically um, on her honeymoon or pregnant for most of her time working there. Then she went to the medical career. She actually started at level four, which is the one where I believe you work like 12 hour shifts, five days a week. And that was just too much for her. So she left that, went back to business, worked there for about a day, remembered she hated it, and then went into being a cop got to level two and then ended up quitting. And shortly after quitting, she aged up into an elder and she thought, well, you know, my husband makes good enough money. We have money in the bank. There's really no need for me to work. So she has just kind of been chilling, doing whatever she wants. Um, she's a level six, almost level seven cooking, level seven in logic. And that is Miss Harper. Love her to death. She is married to Mr. Bradley Claus over here. Girl, when I tell you, he is so fine. I love him. He looks like a little farmer. Obsessed with his update. Obsessed with it. So his lifetime wish is to raise five children from babies to teens. We have four or five, as you can see here. Our youngest child is still a child, um, but she's actually going to age up soon in like two days. So he has almost completed his lifetime wish, which is really, really nice. Um, he is a Virgo, 24, 24, oh my god. 94 days old as an elder. He likes pop music, grilled salmon, and the color orange. He's a great kisser, family-oriented, handy, athletic, and a cat person. And he is level 10 of the education career, which is district superintendent. Um, I initially planned for him to retire once he reached level 10, but I actually see him like working that job pretty much till he's on his deathbed, probably working till he dies. I just, I feel like he's the kind of person who just really loves his job and he doesn't see it as a job. He sees it as like fun, you know, like most people dread going to work, but he loves it. <clears throat> it's kind of how I see him. Anyways, he has mastered the athletic skill. He's level nine charisma, working towards level 10, level three, almost level four guitar. Um, I tried to have him play his guitar like multiple times and he just refuses like he pulls it out of his pocket Holds it for a second and then puts it away like he will not play it anymore, which is super annoying And then he is also level nine in logic So that's my king Bradley obsessed with him obsessed with Harper obsessed with Bradley like obsessed with his family So anyways as you can see here they had five kids, but actually before a baby came along What the hell? Where is she? Hold on. Um, okay, so she's glitched. <laughs> um, let me try and teleport her home. Obviously, I don't pay well enough attention to my cats. Oh, oh, I hit the wrong button. 
Teleport here. Like, where are you, honey? Okay, before we had any kids, we actually got a cat. We got her as a little kitten. Her name is Pixel. Um, I think I explained this in the last part, but I wanted to name her Pixie. And for some reason, I just typed out Pixel and I thought it was really cute. So her name is Pixel. We love her. She is a female. She is 40 days old and an elder. <clears throat> Um, she came with no traits whatsoever, which I found kind of weird, but she was trained to be non-destructive, hyper, playful, neat, and adventurous, so she got quite a few traits. Um, she's a level two hunting. I don't really use my cats for hunting. I just use them for, like, fun, just to have a cat, and if they choose to be a huntress, then that's on them, so she completely chose that. So, we started off with a cat, we got Miss Pixel, and then we had our first ever child, which is Mr. Finnegan, Finn, whatever you want to call him, I named him Finn. He is so freaking cute. He is like the spitting image of his father, but with his mother's like coloring, like his mother's hair, his mother's eyes, but his father's features. I'm obsessed with him. I actually might need to save him to my bin because I love him. Now, as much as I love him, I am not continuing the family with him. Um, oh my god. My dog stretched and made a weird noise and it freaked me out for a second. Anyways, as much as I love Finn, I am not continuing the family with him. I like to pick like a younger child just so I can play with the parents a little bit more. Like I actually plan whoever continues the family, which... I mean, it's not really ruining it for you. I'm still debating between Kellen or Remy, one of the younger siblings. It's going to be one of those two for sure. Um, and whichever one continues the family, I actually plan on them continue living in this house. And Bradley and Harper will both live in this house until they pass away with whoever is the heir of the family. So that is the only reason I'm not picking Finn. Because I just feel like as the oldest child, he would probably not like even though his parents are elders he's got four younger siblings at home to still take care of them so he wouldn't feel like pressured to stay living at home and take care of them whereas kellen and remy they are the younger children if they leave they're pretty much leaving their parents alone so they probably feel the pressure to stay home and care for their parents but anyways this is mr finnegan i am obsessed with him he is the cutest little bean ever I am keeping him in this household for a while. I don't want him to move out. This has become his space. This used to be Colin's space. That was Bradley and Harper's best friend. This used to be his space. And when Finn aged up into a young adult, I made it his space. Um, <clears throat> I plan on keeping Finnegan in the household until, again, it depends on who takes over the family. If Kellen, oh my God, I'm getting a phone call. What a surprise, literally every time I'm filming. All righty, um, as I was saying, I only plan on Finn staying in the household until it depends on who takes over the family. If it's Kellen, he's only going to be here for 14 more days until Kellen's a young adult. And if it's Remy, he's got a little more time because she's not quite even a teenager yet. But anyways, getting to Mr. Finn, his lifetime wish is to reach level 10 with three different skills. He is zero for 10, but you'll see. Um, he is an Aquarius, a young adult with 28 days till he's an adult. He likes Egyptian music, goopy carbonara, and the color lime. He hates the outdoors, is a loner, genius, vegetarian, and frugal. As for his job, he is a level one in law enforcement, which makes him a snitch. He's only gone to two days of work. Um, <clears throat> I think he got the job on Friday, but then that was his graduation, I believe. So then he went Monday, Tuesday, and then today's actually leisure day. So he's only gone to two days of work. Not a big deal. He is currently chatting it up with his coworker, um, Danita. And then I also have him eventually talking to Regina. Um, I see them both being potential love interests. I don't want him because he dated Bernice in high school, I believe, or maybe not dated, but they were romantic interests because they went to prom together. And I just kind of ended things because she never wanted to come over. She never wanted to hang out. They didn't really seem to have anything in common. So I had him end things with her, but I don't want him to just you know, date Mary and have babies with the first person he dates. I kind of want him to date around a little bit. So I'm going to have him get to know Danita and 
Regina, and then whichever one he's close, like he has more in common with, he'll date the other first for a little bit and then end up with the other one. So one of those two is his future wife, which I'm really excited for. And again, depending on if Kellen or Remy takes over the family, um, he's got to kind of get moving because he might potentially only have 14 days to date someone, break up with them, and then date someone else and get married <laughs> um, is kind of my goal. But anyways, his skills, level four cooking, so he has taken after his mother in the cooking department, level one fishing, and level six handiness. So he actually took after Collins. Collins was our little handyman. He upgraded pretty much everything in the house. And now Finn is kind of taking over that role. So handiness and cooking are his go-to skills. And then I think fishing is going to be skill number three, just because I don't know what else to do, honestly. So that's Finn. Love my boy. He's like, look at how effing cute. I just can't. I'm obsessed with him. Anyways, the next baby they had was actually twins, which um, I had no fertility treatment. I used zero cheats, I didn't watch the kids' TV, I didn't listen to kids' music, like, none of that. It just happened naturally, which, like, has only happened to me, like, a handful of times where I just naturally had twins instead of forcing it. Um, so that was really cool, really happy about that. So these two are twins, however, the girl was born first, so Ren is older. Can you look up, please? Can you look up, please? Oh my god, she looked- oh! Oh my god. Okay, good enough. <laughs> Anyways, this is Ren. Girl, your eyes look crazy. You're so cute. I love you. Um, anyways, I wasn't honestly super sure what to do with Ren. Um, I knew the tw like neither of the twins were going to take over the family legacy or story, whatever you want to call it. So she's just honestly like an extra, which like I feel bad about, but any hoozy. Her lifetime wish is to be a forensic specialist, Dynamic DNA Profiler, which is level 10 in the law enforcement forensic branch. I actually think, like, all of the kids are going to go into law because that's also his exact lifetime wish, too. So, like, literally three of their four kids are going to go into law enforcement, which is kind of funny. Anyways, she's an Aquarius and a teenager with only one day till she's a young adult. That's actually why I wanted to film this today because... On Thursday, she's going to age up into a young adult, and then on Friday, she's going to go to graduation, and then as soon as graduation is over, I'm actually moving Ren and her twin brother Talon out of the house. So I wanted to film this before they moved out of the house, because they are a part of the family, and I wanted to, like, you know, show you them. Anyways, her favorite music is hip-hop, her favorite food is keen lamb pie, her favorite color is Irish green. She's over-emotional, excitable, genius, and family-oriented. I believe every child is genius, that's kind of like the family trait that's getting passed down. And Ren also doesn't have any relationships. I did attempt to get her with this guy, but he's dating someone else, and <clears throat> he was just like really playing hard to get and I just was kind of over it at that point so I gave up trying and that's literally the only other high schooler in town or male high schooler I should say and I don't really see Ren being into girls um obviously I'm not like against that I just don't see that for her I could on um, I could see Kellen possibly being bi, and I could definitely see Remy maybe being lesbian. I mean, she is still a child, so I don't really know her, but I just don't see that for Ren. Uh, yeah, she is an A student doing super, super good, and her after school activity is the drama club, which I just felt like that fit her really well. Love that for her. Her skills are level three athletic, level four logic, and level three painting. And really, that's all there is to know about Ren. Not too exciting. Her twin brother, Talon, is actually... Let's see. Maybe he's not in the building yet. Maybe I can show you him. He's probably fully in the building. Dang it. He's in the building. So her... Oh, oh. Well, we can see his back. Maybe if I... Oh, my God. This is literally the most perfect timing. Um, Talon is also a hottie. The family, most of them definitely got their daddy's lips, which I love super cute he has the exact same coloring as his brother like he's got the same color eyes same color hair the older three have the same hair the younger two have darker hair and then i can't remember eye color 
I want to say the younger two have different eye colors and the older three have the same. I don't know. Anyways, this is Talon. He, I kind of was going for like a bad boy vibe when I made him. And then Kellen came along and he became the bad boy of the family. We'll get to him in just a second. But he does not have a lifetime wish yet. He, Talon is kind of stuck. He doesn't really know where he wants to go in life. He's very confused. Um... And he kind of feels like a failure, failure because both his older siblings know what they want to do with their life. Even Kellen, who's younger than him, knows what he wants to do with his life. Remy's too young to really worry about that. And he just feels like a failure. I mean, he's almost 18. He's about to graduate high school, and he has no idea what he wants to do with his life. So he's kind of my lost boy. You know, he's a little lost. He is a Virgo, which I find funny that his twin is a different sign. He also has one day, he is also 18 with one day till he's a young adult. He is a dramatic, a genius, vehicle enthusiast, and athletic. He likes island life music, sushi, and the color pink. Um, he does have a romantic interest. Her name is Wendy, um, but I haven't really done too much with that. I was, I honestly with him, I wanted to just move him out and let story progression control his life and just see what happens. So I haven't really pursued Wendy outside of becoming romantically involved. Um, oh, and Joy. I think, if I remember correctly, I tried to get him to date Joy, and I think they were romantic for like a little bit, and then she aged up and he still had a ways to go, so I was like, whatever, and just left it. But yeah, that's kind of where we are with Talon. He is also an A student, and he is in two different clubs. He's in shop club and sports club, which I liked having him be like a busy bee because, you know, he, like I said, he's kind of lost, so he doesn't know what he wants to do with his life. So he's trying to stay busy with different activities. He's a level three athletic, level one fishing, level three handiness, and level four logic. And that's my boy Talon. Moving on to Mr. Kellen. He is probably one of my favorites so far. He's super cute and just like, mwah, obsessed with him. Obsessed with him. Let me see. Oh my God, his imaginary friend. <laughs> right here. Pal, we love him. Um. Oh yeah, he has like the gray brown I think hazel he's got like the hazel eyes whereas the other ones have green eyes let me check you I'm pretty sure you have green eyes also or maybe do you have the hazel nope she's got the green and then I think Remy also has the hazel can you look up yeah so our older three have brown hair with green eyes and our younger two have black hair with hazel eyes so I kind of like how it turned out that way but just look at my boy he got, he's got a baby face, honestly, but that's okay. Just look at him. I'm obsessed with him. This whole family is so hot. Actually, if I'm being honest, Ren is not the cutest, but the rest of the family is so hot. Obsessed with them. Anyways, my boy Kellen, his lifetime wish is a forensic specialist, level 10 in the forensic branch of law enforcement. <clears throat> he is a Virgo. And a teenager with 14 days till he's a young adult. So he's pretty new into being a teenager. He is flirty. I plan on him having quite a few romantic interests. And then also being a little romantic with his imaginary friend. Um, possibly making his imaginary friend real. His dad is level 9. However, he's never dabbled with um, the potions. So I don't know if he'd be able to find the potion before then. But we can try. We can try. Um, but yeah, I definitely see him dating Corinna. Um, Regina's a little too old for him. And that's the only female high schooler he knows. But like I said, he just aged up. He's only gone to a handful of days at school. So he will meet some more. Um, and then also his imaginary friend. So he's only a C in school, but again, he just aged up, so he hasn't had a lot of time. I do not plan on putting him nor Remy in after-school activities. I just, especially because I'm still not sure which one's going to take over the family, I want as much time with them as possible. So don't plan on doing that. And also, once the twins move out, I'll have a lot more time to really focus on them. Um, yeah. Uh, anyways, he's level 2 athletic and level 3 handiness. I feel like most of the family is athletic. I think Ren 
Ren is the only child that is not athletic. Um, Ren's kind of the outcast of the family. Oh my god. I didn't even do that on purpose, but I guess that's just how it landed. I guess Harper is not athletic either. Anyways, um, yeah, so I honestly, I don't know, I just love him. He's so cute. Like, when he became a teenager, I was so set on him being the heir of the family, and then Remy happened, which we'll get to her in a second. Before Kellen was born, I totally forgot about this. This was between the twins and Kellen. <coughs> Okay, sorry about that. Just, like, coughed a frickin' lung out. Anyways, we got a second cat between the twins being born and getting pregnant with Kellen, and her name is Paige. I went for, you know, Pixel and Paige, double Ps. Um, she is a female cat and adult with only two days till she's an elder, which is really, really sad. We got her with the non-destructive and noisy trait, and she has learned to be neat and adventurous, and she is also a level two hunting which, again, I don't ever train my cats. Um, oh, shoot, I didn't mean to get rid of that one. Anyways, I don't ever train my cats to be hunters. They just, that's what happens, honestly. So, yeah, and then we had Kellen. And then we had our very last, honestly, a little bit late in life child, Remy. Um, she's not, like, super younger than the rest of her siblings. She's got two days till she's a teenager. At that point, he'll be down to 12, and you start with 17. So she's only five days behind Kellen, and it takes three... It's Pregnancy is three days long, so really she was, like, two days behind Kellen, honestly. So she's not that young, but she is the baby of the family. She is so, oh my god, look at her. I might have to fix her nose when she gets older. I'm just gonna, like, wait till she's a teenager and see. Because look at her, like, look at her nostrils. Like, hers are fine. Hers are way up there. So I may have to fix her nostrils. But other than that, I think she's adorable. And I think she's only gonna get cuter when she becomes a teenager. Oh my god, girl. Quit making that face. Your nostrils are high enough. Anyways... She is a Gemini and a child with two days till she's a teenager. She likes geek rock music, hot dogs, and the color white. She loves the outdoors, is clumsy and athletic, and she does need to get the genius trait because, again, that is, I am planning on using the genius trait as, like, the family trait that gets passed down to every single child, every single generation. Um... So that'll be what she gets when she ages up into a teenager. She isn't a student in school, and again, just like Kellen, she is not going to be in any after-school activities just because I want to be able to put as much focus on her as possible. And again, she is a child, so no, like, relationships or anything. Um, when she becomes a teenager, I I see her as probably, like, like, dating one person throughout her whole high school career. And then if I continue the family with her, maybe I'll send her to university and have her date one person all throughout university, possibly the same person. And then as an adult, you know, either staying with that person or only dating one other person into adulthood. You know, I'm not entirely sure, but I definitely see her being more of like a long-term, settled-down relationship kind of person. And I see Kellen, at least as a teenager in early adulthood, I see Kellen as like the date around for a while kind of person. So anyways... That is this family. This was a super long video. I've literally been recording for over 33 minutes at this point. Again, I don't know how much I'm going to cut out, though. Um, super long video. I hope you like this family. When you see them in January, which is freaking insane, like it's almost 2022, I still cannot wrap my mind around that. When you see them in January, it's going to be very, very different. These two will be moved out of the house for sure. And depending on how much time I have to play, which honestly, December is a really busy month for me, so I don't know how much I will have, but depending on how much time I have to play, he'll probably be a young adult, Finn will probably be moved out, she will be a teenager, possibly even a young adult, and we will know which one of these two is taking over the family, which is super exciting. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure you let me know by giving the video a thumbs up, commenting down below, subscribing if you haven't already. Um, definitely subscribe so you can see the family come January and see how much they've changed and grown. I'm going to go ahead and go, and I will see all of your lovely, lovely faces in my next video. Bye, guys!